Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with another Fake Grand Order video. Coming at you very quiet because I am currently... It's currently 1am where I am and there's people sleeping, so I'm gonna try not to wake them up. And then I was expecting to have a nice easy night off for Halloween. And then Fogo decided to drop this banner out of nowhere. So we're gonna be today talking about the Gouda Gouda uh, Yamata Kyoko 2022 Pickup Summon 2. AKA the banner, which is, <laughs> we can't run any of the other Gouda Gouda characters. Who can we run? Mysterious Heroine X and Spacious Star, let's go. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment down below. Tell me if you're gonna be summoning and if you already summoned for Mysterious Heroine X, tell me how you did, or seriously, is at the same time. And let's get into it. So first things first, I'm not gonna be going over her because it is Cersei, but she is a four star. Uh, she's on this banner as well, so hopefully if you want her, you can potentially get her here. Uh, though if you are specifically just somebody on this banner to chase a 4, you could always just use a 4 ticket for her down the line when we get- we're getting one next year at some point. Um, I think anyway. But anyway. Mysterious Iron One X and Space Star. This was completely unexpected, but they play a part, I think, in the part 2 of this event, so it makes sense. Uh, starting from Halloween and on the 1st of November, that's when it's uh, basically Spacious Char Banner doesn't hit until the 2nd, as you can see from here. Uh, depending on your time zone, this might be accurate or not. It's a little monkey, but basically in the next two um, logins is when you should be getting her. Or the banner should be showing up for you. But if you're a big Mysterious Heroine X alter, not Mysterious Heroine X alter, Mysterious, again, it is late, apologies. Mysterious Heroine X fan, she's there for you right now. So let's go over the units. We're gonna start with Mysterious Heroine X because she's out now, and it's too late for me to stop you or to help you decide to summon for her because you already summoned for her by the time you've heard this video. So she is an assassin. She is two quicks, two arts, one buster. Uh, her first skill, she, all of them were buffed to the nines because she was very bad when she released. Um, fire support, X, EX, EX. Upgrades after strengthening two, replaces fire support, EX, which was this one. Uh, reduces all enemies' defense for three turns. 500% chance to grant self a delayed buff for one turn. Chance to stun all enemies for one turn after one turn. The defense down is 20% and the stun chance is 80% and this is on a cooldown of 7. Second skill is the Star of the Saber C++. This used to be Instinct C++, which was, oh my god, this is still one of the worst skills I've ever created. Um, Star of the Saber C++ gives her invincibility and crit stars. The crit star amount has been increased from 14 to 20 and the cooldown remains 5. But now she has an invincibility to her. And finally, her third steal, the Galaxy Meteor Sword XEXA, um, which upgrades after Saber Wars. This was a funny one where I think you had to Saber Wars 2 or Interlude 4. It's a little bit funky. Um, increases own critical star generation against Saber enemies for three turns. Increases own damage against Saber enemies for three turns. Increases own attack for three turns. Um, the critical star generation rate against Sabers is 100%. Damage versus the Saber enemy class is 50%. And the damage that she gets is 20%. And this is on a cooldown of 6. And if you want to know what this used to be, it used to just be this two. These two and that was it. Uh, passive skill, Riding EX and Cosmo Reactor A. Her pen skill for the third one has to be a bonus damage against Sabers. It is an anti-Saber damage aptitude, which is increasing own attack against Saber enemies. And her rank EX Noble Phantasm, the Secret Caliber, the Sword of the Unsigned Victory, is a rank EX Quick Noble Phantasm that is anti-unit. It hits 12 times. It deals damage. The damage is 16,000 at level 1, and if you get it all the way to level 5, it's 2,400. I feel like I completely screwed up the naming of those. 16,000, 24,000. Okay, there you go. That should make sense. And then she also deals extra damage against Artoria face enemies, aka Saber face. Um, it's 150% extra damage at charge level 1, and if you get her to the final charge, it is 200%. And she also has an Ascension, not an Ascension, she has a different outfit, which is the Mysterious Heroine Z. And yeah, that's Mysterious Heroine X. 
she is a niche, 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 niche unit in that she only really, really, really wants to go against Artoria phases. Not Sabres, Artoria face, which is different. An Artoria face is basically anyone that looks like Saber. Everyone knows this, everyone knows what a Saber face is, but basically it is Saber, Saber Altar, um, Saber Lily, Saber Nero, <laughs> Saber Okita, uh, Saber Sun, Saber Nero, but in a bride form. <laughs> Lakshimba because she looks like Okita and then you have Okita uh, Altair you get the point here anyone that kind of looks like Saber you deal bonus damage to them and only them and if you notice out of the ones that here that are actually Sabers it is basically just Saber, Nero, Okita, Mordred, Summer Okita specifically and Lakshimba and how many of them are weak to assassin? Two, three. The Santa Claus, Mordred, and Alter again. So like I said, very niche unit. Uh, I think she's probably one of the coolest designs. I remember pulling for her so crazy and it's still kind of, I think I actually do finally have her. And there's really just no good way to justify using her. You have to really, really fight for it. I cannot stress this enough when I say niche in that the people who love Mysterious Heroine X probably, they have the good version of her. It's the swimsuit version, which is Mysterious Heroine XX, which is a better, more usable version, I think. Um, this one's just too limited in what she's trying to do. The Alter version, which is a Berserker, has similar, except for she just is anti-Saber as opposed to just straight up Saber face. But with all that said, if you are a big fan of Mysterious Heroine X, you've already summoned for her. You've already know all the misconstructions about misconstructions, misconce no, not misconceptions. You know all the faults in her. You know what this unit is. I wish you the best of luck if you go for her. Um, there's definitely ways to make her work, but you have to really fight for it. And to be honest, there is some level of commitment to the bit here that I appreciate. That she really is just 100% anti. Saber face. It's something amazing to behold. But that's the first unit. The second unit, this one's very easy to say. Space Ishtar. Space Ishtar. She is an Avenger. She has one quick, two arts, two buster. Her active skills are Devil Sugar A, increases own attack for three turns, increases party attack except for self for three turns, grants party a charm debuff immunity except for self for three turns just for the funsies of it. The attack up is 20% and the attack except for the self up is 30%, which is the party's attack up. The Venus Driver B is the second skill. It increases her MP damage for one time, three turns, and then grants self invincibility for one attack, three turns. Um, and then select own com NP command card type between Quick, Arts, or Buster for three turns. Um, the MP damage is 20% on a cooldown of five. I should have also mentioned this is also a cooldown of 5. It actually matters because she is traditionally arts, but you can't actually run her with Buster. And Vich is, she works very well with Vich because all of hers I believe are 6 and under, yeah. And the multiple Starling EX charges on and P gauge. 80% chance to either be quick, arts, or Buster for, by 20%. Um, meaning that 80% to tr you can potentially get all 3, but it's an 80% chance to get all three. Um, the 80% is shared between the three. There you go, that's a better way of saying it. And the MP up is 50%, and this is on a cooldown of six. I think this is actually her weakest move, but it's okay, because I feel like it kind of goes with her. It, she doesn't really, weakest, it, this weakest, <laughs> this weakest skill of hers is still better than a lot of others and the only reason it's weak is because it has a 20% chance to just fail and that kind of sucks but other than that an amazing skill that any unit would love to have to be honest her passive skills are magic resistance c independent action c goddess essence a plus plus the avenger ex the oblivion oblivion correction and the self-replenishing magic b her pen skill for the third one is an anti-archer attack damage aptitude and her noble phantasm three times like i said it is Arts as her default with three hits, deals damage to all enemies, then increases own damage of extra attack cards by 100% for one turn. 
The damage is 450% at level 1, it is 750% at level 5. And then she also increases her own MP damage for 3 turns, this activates first. The charge is 20% at level 1, and the charge is 60% if you get it all the way to level 5. For Quick and Buster, the charge overcharge effect does not change, but the staff values does, and the reason is is because um, there's different base damage, like her arts is base 1, uh, one multiplication, Buster is 1.5, and Buster is 0 0.8, so the Quick is at MP level 1, 600%, and 1000 at the end, and for Buster it is 300% at level 1 and 500% at level 5, and she also has the Origin Mode, which is her other outfit in, in this one. Spacious Star. Currently in Fago NA, it is between her and Kama, who is the better, is like, is a debate back and forth that you could have over who's better in terms of farming for, um, arts. They are very similar, um, in what they do and how they kind of get stuff back. They can both easily fuck shit up, no issues, and really the, I think it's negligible which one you kind of prefer at that point. I have both. And the only reason I use my comma is because she's NP2. <laughs> if she was NP1 like Spacious Star, it would kind of be a depending on the kind of node kind of battle. Um, but she is an excellent, excellent, excellent farmer. And she's also um, very fun to use because she also has like a... It's funny because she is like one of the best farmers and then she has like a very cool like skill way. So... Obviously this 80%, when you look at it in terms of farming, it sucks because it means that you have a chance for something to fail. But if you look at her design in a way of like saying like, okay, use her like a normal being, let's say you use this first and one of these gets buffed and the others don't. Um, for example, it is Buster that gets buffed. You could definitely make it so that her NP is now Buster so she can take advantage of the 20% Buster from this. Now obviously in most, <laughs> most of the time that doesn't really work out but i do like that they kind of put some thought into like how you would do it where if you use this skill first you can kind of dictate which one you want to go to obviously if you are farming with spacious star to start then you already know which one to be and obviously she is best in arts and then i would probably say buster and then quick for the third um with quick i think you having to have some very specific things to get her to work i I remember using her for quick, but I still prefer Dantes for quick farming Avenger. If I'm going to use an Avenger for for quick farming, it's going to be Dantes. But she can definitely work for Buster, even though I've never tried it. Because there's plenty of good Busters. But in terms of arts, she's very good. Even though this only hits three times, it's a, it is enough to get her to um, at least 50%, even sometimes 100%. Like I said, she is an amazing, amazing farmer. The only thing that is a negative is the fact that if you really 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 want to get to the nitty gritty you can wait a year for summer abuki and summer abuki is better than both kama and space ishtar at least in terms of pure raw stats and i remember because i remember the conversation being like oh yeah it is between these two and then she came out and it was like the conversation is over <laughs> it's her <laughs> they kind of built her very 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 crazy but I digress. If you are a big fan of Rin, this is likely the ultimate Rin that you could have because it is not just one Rin, it is multiple Rins. It is one, two, three, and if you want to count the Spirit Origin, it is four different Rins. It is not just one Rin, and it's also a giant goddess Rin. This is the one you kind of want. Irish Goggle and regular Ishtar, also very good, but that just says how great Spish how great I think Space Star is, is that in terms of the ultimate Rin, this is the ultimate Rin. Because it is literally multiple Rins put into one in a space. The only thing that does not like her is that she is technically not Rin. So if you actually want to be more realistic about it, Ishtar and er Erish Goggle are probably closer. But in terms of a unit that will fully satiate you as a big Rin fan, you can't look any more than Spacious Jar. She is 100% built for everything. I wouldn't be surprised if she catches people off guard and they are immediately summoning for her. And if you do, I wish you the best of luck. Um, is she worth it to summon over some other dudes that are coming up? I would say yeah. I would, she, I would definitely think she is good enough to justify summoning for if you need that justification. 
Um, but again, like I always say, if you're someone who is summoning for gameplay purposes, you should know the plan and stick to the plan and not deviate and let don't let yourself be tempted by other units. If you're someone who purely plays for the love of everything and you see that Rin is here and you don't care what could potentially be coming for Thanksgiving or anything else, go for her. Wish you the best of luck. Um, maybe even a single if you could. But if you're someone who is also just like, you know what, I can wait a year for Summer Ibuki, then you can just wait for Summer Ibuki. But again, I think Space Star is a fantastic ass unit and I've loved using her for the time I've had her. For a brief moment, I stopped using her because she made things too easy. And I was just like, okay, I very rarely ever use my Space Star because she just made farming way too easy and doing a lot of modes too easy. And a lot of challenge quests, funny enough, also very easy. You'd be surprised how many challenge quests you can just straight up ignore the tactics when you can just blast every single unit out the sky. <laughs> but anyway, I wish you the best of luck if you end up summoning for them. Very good units. Well, one amazing unit and one unit that is well loved because she's cool. And yeah, weird that we... Th 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 where's the APOC banner? <laughs> I really do feel at this point Thanksgiving is going to be a lot of those APOC units now. Because it's really weird how they've... It feels like they're almost like stalling for time. They're like, they don't want to release the Ibuki banner just yet. They don't want to release the APOC banner just yet. Because they realize that there has to be like a, a probably a break somewhere. And to be honest, they haven't even announced the next Gouda Gouda. So now I'm kind of wondering if the next Gouda Gouda is even going to start the same time that this one ends. A lot of things to think about for sure. But that's the end of today's video. I'm gonna go back to relaxing. Again, sorry for having to be so quiet, but hopefully it didn't bother you too much. Um, because again, I really wasn't expecting to do anything. And I'm running on not a lot of sleep after work uh, last night. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Best of luck on your summons. Peace out. Peace out. There we go, that's better.